No more, it's Joinin. I've made a lot of videos about Unision in the past and I guess those videos could be interpreted as me criticizing him and I don't apologize for that. <laughs> but this is a wholesome Monday episode and I I'm gonna be taking a little bit of a different approach. Obviously, Onision is really hanging out on Shane Dawson at the moment. I everyone's talking about that. I mean, I don't wanna keep sensationalizing Onision drama, trying to make it seem like it's this big thing and that I'm and that I'm highly offended by everything he's doing. I'm talking about him in a more realistic sense. This is what I actually think of Onision and not some over-dramatized hatred. I think we as creators open ourselves up on this platform and Onision in particular opens up conversation and controversy and if he didn't expect people to publicly respond, he wouldn't be doing what he does. I think it's almost part of his brand. I think channels like Onision Nision and hiding in my room thrive on this often unacknowledged intelligence that they have. Drama is huge on YouTube and for the most part, it's mutually beneficial. I'm not a hater in any sense. I can and definitely have hated things Onision has said, but I think that's different. The few videos I've made about him surely can be interpreted in any way the viewer chooses, but personally, to me, the videos are more of a response to an open discussion that Onision is actively creating. And my videos just fit the format. In real life, if I met him, I wouldn't shy away from grabbing a drink and having a discussion. But YouTube is the format here, and I guess this is how it happens. I wanted to take a look at what I think is the most recent video on his Onision Speaks channel. He created this video called uh, You Win, I Quit, YouTube, which I think gets a pass in terms of clickbait because it's in quotations. It's clear that he's not the one saying it. Plus, the video is about the subject matter, so I, so I don't have any comment to make about the title. Hey, so I'm gonna be real with you because that's what I would want people to be with me. To all the YouTubers who are thinking about quitting, okay, it's sad and it's dramatic at first. It sucks at first. You know, I've cried plenty of times over losing my house. I've cried plenty of times over, you know, just the hardship of like being so rich and famous and then not being rich and famous anymore. <laughs> but now we're normal people. I see so many videos from people who are like uh, so depressed because they don't get views anymore, because they don't get money anymore from YouTube, because let's be real, YouTube picked a handful of channels and promoted the hell out of them. It's just how it is. They, you know, these people used to be cycled through. There used to be a lot of people on the trending page. There used to be a lot of growth and health in the community, but now it's like some kind of filtration camp where you, you, only, you have to be a specific type of PC to get through, or you have to be a specific type of likable to get through. You can't have, you know, half your audience be really pissed at you. I get what he's saying here. I think what YouTube is doing is more of a reaction to the growth on the platform. Obviously with how huge YouTube is now compared to how it was competition's tougher and YouTube isn't gonna hold your hand the whole way you have to be making content that everybody wants to see if YouTube is gonna get everyone to see it and even if it doesn't work quite like that I don't think it's super helpful to think any different because in the end all it does is inspire you to create content that more people would want to see sure that means you're not going to be able to appeal to a niche but it ultimately comes down to if you want to be huge you have to appeal to a huge audience I think that just makes sense. The key to YouTuber success is getting promoted, to collaborating, to just having people talk about you and make you relevant, okay? I, I hope you caught that. That is a key insight into Onision and his channel. Having people talk about you and make you relevant, okay? I haven't collaborated for the longest time. Part of it is because I'm a pariah. I've tried to collaborate. People repeatedly stood me up. They would agree and then they stand me up. So he's saying that he finds it hard to collaborate with people. And so the way that he can spread and continue to grow on YouTube is by people talking about him. The easiest way to do that is to create some kind of controversy. And this is why I compared him to hiding in my room. I think the idea of their channel stems from a similar point. They're almost trying to spawn drama around themselves because it helps. And it almost helps everyone involved. It helps bring exposure to them it helps bring exposure to other people making content about them and for the most part the people who agree with Onision or the people who agree with me or the people who agree with anyone else who makes a video about him most of them aren't going to change their mind anyway but it gets everyone views and it keeps everyone relevant it's like a YouTube ecosystem where we're just feeding each other think Jake and Logan Paul creating fake beef between them but in a more natural sense I'm not happy with my former behavior but I also respect my former behavior in the sense that it was a human thing to do. You know, it's a human thing to do to see yourself failing and to be like, 
why? So this is just my quick message to YouTubers. I wanted to let you guys know that it's not over unless you say it's over, okay? If you have to go and get a regular job again, then that's just the way it is. Point is, is if you love what you do on YouTube, if you love making videos, if it's about more than just money and fame, you're not gonna quit, okay? You might make videos less, but you're not gonna quit. Seriously, dude, you stick to it. You keep fighting, you stay true to you. And you also upload to Facebook because F YouTube. <laughs> and broaden your audience, try to collaborate, try to make yourself grow. It's now this invisible glass ceiling that's weighing against us, but that doesn't mean that our audience can't still type in youtube.com slash our URL. They don't promote us, but that doesn't mean people can't still find us if we promote ourselves properly. I love this. Look at this. <laughs> last time I made an Onision video, I said I, I might not make one again, but my main criticism in that last video was that there was no message of hope. It was Onision running his mouth as he usually does, but there was no nice conclusion it was just slightly depressive thoughts or they may not have been depressive for him and they may not be depressive for everyone but i i totally saw it, how it may have negatively impacted some people and so i just wanted to talk about that video and give at least how i see it a positive spin on what he was talking about but this this is a great example of what i think a lot of youtubers aren't going to talk about when they're talking about onision because this isn't drama onision's uploaded a video and he's giving hope he's saying he's going through a situation and he's trying to help others who are going through a similar situation and give them some hope and this is this is what i love it's a cliche to say that people aren't all bad or all good but it's true and I don't disagree with people who actively dislike Onision but I don't disagree with people who choose to like him to me he should be taken by his merits and I think sometimes he can say some pretty dumb hurtful stuff and in the past that's the stuff I've tried to pick up on and offer an alternative view but that's almost why I don't see Onision as a major problem because there are Onision sympathizers and as far as I can tell they find some help or some support in his videos and as long as he is respecting them and helping them that's obviously a good thing but Everyone on the internet holds him accountable. I've attempted to do that. So the viewers who disagree with him and his views have other people they can sympathize with. And uh, that's good. So while this is like my fourth video about Onision, I don't see that as a problem. Because as a person pursuing a channel that reads Reddit, discusses current matters, and just likes to have fun and engage, Onision's videos, to me, are another way of creating interesting subject matters and sparking conversation. Whether that's a discussion about the state of YouTube or the dangers of nihilism for some people, or just me not knowing whether he is joking or being serious, and <laughs> the fact that that's concerning. I'm not sticking up for him. I'm not trying to rationalize what he does or says. I'm just saying that from a content creator's point of view, he's very interesting and a lot of people find a lot of content for their channels in his videos, myself included. It's possible that this video makes me an enemy of both sides, but I hope that people can see that my big take on this is that I don't have that much skin in the game. I don't think about it too much one way or the other. Just that as a creator, I appreciate the content opportunities he creates. And I doubt he would have a problem with me saying that. So yeah, risky move on my behalf, making a wholesome Monday episode about Onision of all people. But before we call it a day, I've got to check in on my man, Anti Jeffrey. 236 subscribers. We have a new video. I'm okay. Nothing happened, don't worry. Hey, what's going on, guys? It's your boy, Anti Jeffrey here. No, boy. It's ya boy. Somehow I was able to do it, but I found something nice about these guys. You probably know what I'm talking about just by holding this teddy. It's furries. Oh. I somehow found something nice to do with them. And, you know, they're, they're all right. Yeah, I don't really enjoy myself. But I somehow found nice ways to... Sorry guys, one second. Yeah, hi, what are you doing? Here, what? No, not, not now, you can't do- <laughs> Don't worry everyone, I'm okay. Who did he just kill? He just- Our boy just killed someone! No need to worry. The plot. The plot thickens. 